little castle. It may appear small, but it's all I need. I bought it used. One of the other fellows, Rob, he went with me to check it out because he's had campers like this before, and he said it was fine. I got it for a very good deal. I considered $2,000 a good deal. The refrigerator works, water heater works, everything works in it, and it's paid for. And so give us the stats, uh, make, model, year. Oh, okay, this is a Sunline. It's uh, not made anymore, which is a, uh, let's see, 1989. So it's, you know, it's an older camper. It's got some rot up in the front and everything. A uh, few problems with it. Uh, you know, I've got a, I'm not in all that great a shape myself, I guess. So this, cam <laughs> this camper's just fine with me. Has an awning which I bring out when it's not windy, so it's been brought out twice. Right, in the desert, that doesn't happen much. <laughs> no, it doesn't. And we've had an awful lot of rain. Have you got any leaks? Yes, up around the front, but um, Wayne, Wayne, a uh, friend of mine, Wayne fixed it for me, so right. now I don't have any more leaks. Right. Yeah, you know, it's like anything else. You take care of it, mm -hmm. you've got a problem, you fix it. Yeah. It's just what you do. Mm -hmm. And uh, if you have uh, an emergency fund or a, uh, a community, then it gets fixed. Yes, it does. And uh, it's surprising out here how many people would rather, instead of charging you money to do something for them, if you cook for them some. And speaking of cooking, I have an oven in here, and I cook on it all the time. Made a turkey dinner last night here. Wow. And so what are you using for a tow vehicle? Well, Okay, I'm using a GMC Envoy, which is the uh, equivalent of a uh, Trailblazer. I think they're called Arcadia now. It's a straight six. Uh, it, it tows 50, it's rated for 5,400 pounds. I'm probably towing 3,500 pounds. If I had it to do over, I would have a V8, but I started out with a smaller camper. I take it easy when I'm out with it, and I've had it's got enough power and I've gone mountains with it. I've only gone up to about 7,000 feet and I've been okay with it, but you take it easy and you'll be fine. Is it the vehicle you had when you decided to go full-time? Yes, when I had a camper that weighed a thousand pounds. Right. <laughs> so, uh, I don't consider it a mistake. It's a nice vehicle and it does its job. But, and you limit how much you tow. Yes. It'll, it'll last forever if you only tow it tow a thousand miles a year. Yeah. It will, and I keep, you know, I, now that's one thing, I, I keep the oil up, I, I keep it maintained. You know, if you don't have money for one thing, at least keep your vehicle maintained because you rely on it. So this not only does, do you not spend much per month, the 600, you paid very little to get started. Okay, I started sort of about five years ago, putting money away and thinking I wanted to do this. And what happened, telling a little about myself, and I'm not ashamed of this, life got so out of hand, I had too many responsibilities. Well, who doesn't, okay? I didn't handle it as well as some other people. And I was very close to a nervous breakdown. With the help of a uh, very good man friend, he helped me get on the road with my other camper, helped me get everything together. and. You know, he knew I had to get out. I, so I didn't make a lot of good decisions getting out of this life, but one of them, my other life, but one of them was saving money. And I was very diligent about saving money. So when it came time for me to leave, I was able to leave. And it was the right thing for me. And, you know, back to the people that I had met in Florida who didn't even know me, I was almost... I don't know how to say it, almost, you know, just laying in bed and unable to do anything, literally, for about two weeks. It was like I was shell-shocked when I came from Ohio and made it down to Florida. They would come over, and these are people that hardly eat, well, they didn't know me. They would come over and knock on my door and say, Diane, dinner's done. And I'd go over for dinner and, you know, and I just started coming out of my shell. but. I guess the point I'm trying to say is you don't have to be perfect. You can come out here and heal. And that, and mine is not the only story. I mean, my story is tame, according to some of the uh, women and men 
that I've heard. So yeah, you don't you don't have to. Everything doesn't have to be together. You can get it together out here. I have actually known uh, probably a dozen people who were prescribed to live in a van. They're, oh, they're, really? they're, I, yes, their their counselors uh -huh. uh, or psychiatrists could actually see that they would benefit from the simplicity and withdrawal of living in a van and prescribed it. Well, yeah, it and sure it changed their lives yeah. just like it did yours. Mm -hmm. uh, I believe it's nature. It's nature is healing. Oh, I totally agree. It certainly is. Yeah. And you have found it because you oh, yeah. actually literally found healing here. Yeah. Okay. Great. So you paid two thousand. You had to use the vehicle you started with. You started with, well, you know, no, you I, your little camper. Yeah, I beginning. started with the same the same uh, vehicle, but I had a little thousand pound camper, and it was quite adequate. I was very very happy with it. But at a year of doing this, I decided, you know, the other camper I had to take my artwork in and out. This camper I can leave my art out, and I I've got my own little tiny studio. And the art is probably getting stress out of your life, being in nature, mm -hmm. and immersing yourself in art. Yes. It may have saved your life. It did. It really did. Wow. Um, and I'm not saying anything against medication, but I probably should have been on it before I did this. But for me, this worked. Right. Yeah. Because right. I got out just in the nick of time. Right. Mm -hmm. Well, then let's take a look inside your little home. Okay. Uh. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> She's, come here. He's not going to steal your food. No, I'm not going to steal your food. <laughs> it does look good. It but does. I think I'll pass. <laughs> and of course, your boy, your home is just filled mm -hmm. with beautiful art. Oh yeah, my daughter. My daughter made this, the dream catcher, a big dream catcher. Sometimes I do jewelry, and I'm. this is a deer antler that I made. Mm -hmm. Now, let me show you my fancy storage here. Ah, sometimes it's neater, and sometimes it's messier. But this side is the storage for my artwork mm -hmm. that I do. Okay. So that would normally be a bed. Yes, it would normally be a bed, yeah. And the other side... Hey, I would say... My camper usually looks better than this, but actually, this looks good. <laughs> what can I you're, say? At least you're honest. <laughs> I mean, that's what the most of us really it's like. Uh, people want me to show my rig all the time. Yeah. <laughs> never going to happen. It might never looks as good as yours yeah. does now. All right, here's my upside down suitcase, and you know, it's, it's I'm happy. Happy right. as if, like my mother always said, you're happy as if you had good sense. And I've got my. Well, you are uh, a lucky woman not to have good sense then. <laughs> Yeah. I'd rather be happy mm -hmm. than prove everyone else right. Yes, yes. Oh, okay, here's my little pride and joy. A real oven. Oh, cornstarch. I'm, I'm going to be making some uh, goodies later, so one of my friends brought over some cornstarch for me. I cook, I mean, I bake in here all the time. I bake cakes, I bake cookies, I've got a, you know, this is... I've got a four burner range. Sorry, you can't see it. But, you know, everyone's seen a stove, but yes. still, but still. And, and you use it often. Yes. Oh, yes, I do. Um, and so you still have uh, you have a water? Does your sink work? Yes, the sink works. The hot water heater works for it. Yeah. The uh, shower works. The <laughs> I shouldn't admit this. The toilet was broken, so I took it out. And I still haven't decided what to do, whether to go with uh, putting in a composting toilet, something fancy, putting in a regular toilet, which I don't think I'm going to do, or, you know, the old uh, luggable loo. I've got my luggable loo. So, water, right now you're not using the toilet, you're using a five-gallon bucket? Yeah, it, yeah, it's actually a... Oh, you can pick these luggable loos up about anywhere. That's what's nice. It's just a toilet seat on a five-gallon bucket, and you use sawdust. Right. And uh, I'm finding it easier. I'm really not even wanting to get... If I get a regular toilet put in, and I'm all fancy-schmancy, then I'm going to have to pull out every few weeks in order to dump my tanks. Now, with this system, 
or a composting system. There, it's just easier as far as I'm concerned. I'm not going to have to pull out. I can stay in one place. And your uh, refuse and your sawdust is removed in the plastic bags and taken to the dump. It, it works for me. It works for a lot of people. It does. Mm -hmm. uh, and people all want to complain about the putting it in the dump. You had kids? I, hey, I know where the Pampers went. Yes, I know where mine went too. Yeah. You have dogs. Yeah. You go to the city park. Yes, indeed. All that stuff goes in one place. It does. It does. It does. Yeah. And I never once felt bad about it. No. And I still don't. Mm -mm. So, yeah, I'm 100% with you there. Yeah. Okay, and uh, and so that your bed is behind you, mm -hmm. and you um, uh, just a very cozy little. It is. It's a. Uh, it, it's it's really nice. So even when it's cool or rainy or whatever, I'm. I have a nice little nice little place. And you said the, the furnace works. The furnace. Okay. Yes, the furnace works. I don't use it. I mainly use the little buddy when I need it for a few hours in the morning, and I tell you why. Because the furnace, okay, I've got about 100 watts of power with solar. my solar. Mm -hmm. 100 watts of solar. When the fan is running, there's times that it can't keep up. Am I explaining this right? Yes, the right. furnace has a fan which takes electricity. Right. I don't always have enough electricity for that fan, but I have enough electricity for everything else. Right, it burns propane for heat. Yes. But it takes electric to run it. Yes. To blow the mm -hmm. blower. And if we've got several days with no sun, then I don't have a good enough system to run it. So I use this. The cold doesn't bother me much. Just a standard uh, yeah, small just, just, Mr. Yeah. Buddy propane heater? Yeah. Uh, I probably, when it's cold, I might run it for two hours when I get up in the morning. That, and by the time I've made coffee and breakfast, it's, you know, it's not exactly like we're up north or anything. So it warms up out here. It may be down in the 30s at night, but almost always it's warm in the day. Right. Right. Yeah. And you have a fridge. Yes. It's a standard RV propane fridge, I mm -hmm. assume. And, you know... You can have, you can eat very well if you're careful. That doesn't mean I'm eating all canned foods and ramen noodles. You know, I've got nice things that I can eat that I'm that I can afford to buy. And because you're not paying so much for a house, no. yeah. you can probably eat a little better than you would if you had to live at home. Correct, correct. Um, be because one lives like this doesn't mean one has to let themselves go or not enjoy life right and i might have mentioned i think i did earlier that once or twice a month me and a, another woman she and i go and see whatever new sci-fi movie is on we usually hit you know go to parker when we're in flagstaff it's easy because the movie is close but and we'll go out and treat ourselves to oriental or whatever we want to eat so have you seen rogue one yet no sure but gonna... as soon as she gets back i'm going to yeah yeah right and so you know once uh, when i when i do these videos mm -hmm. i will inevitably get people saying oh i'm so sorry for her she has this horrible <laughs> life oh if, if society would only treat her better so you're you're really gr glad they feel sorry for you and pity you right? I, I i i am to be pitied i have <laughs> i have thousands and thousands of acres that's my own backyard um i live on a river right now but last uh, winter, I lived on the ocean, and I didn't pay any taxes for them. Exactly. <laughs> didn't exactly pay taxes for them. You all know what I mean. Right. Yeah. So, no, you've got a very, very good life. Oh, I do. You I would, do. Would you trade it? You no. win the lottery. Would you go back into a sticks and bricks? You don't. No, no. Uh, you know what? <laughs> I thought of that. I'd probably keep the same little ratty trailer because it makes me happy. Well, yeah, I, you know, who knows what you'd do? Who knows? Yeah, who knows? But I would have money to help other people out. Right. That yeah. would be the main uh -huh. thing. Yeah. Just like I like to I like to cook and entertain. So this little camper and this little stove I'm so proud of, I'm able to do that. 
and you have all the essentials. Everything that's required for a good, happy life is right here. Okay. And nothing more. No. Uh, let me show you something now. Okay. Here's how extravagant I am. I actually travel with real old china. Oh wow. I don't like to, uh, you know, I, I, I don't even, I don't even pack it well. But you know what the heck? I'm so rich. If something happens to one of these plates, I can go to a thrift store and get another one for 99 cents. <laughs> <laughs> and it it's makes a good life. You know, this is silly, but uh, maybe it's a woman thing. But it makes me happy to eat off of that nice old china. <laughs> good, good. That's all that counts. So that yeah. makes you happy. Mm-hmm. Well, Diane, uh, thank you so much for sharing your home and your life and your thoughts with us. It's you're an inspiration. You don't want to hear that. I know you're yeah. embarrassed. You are an inspiration for a lot of people. Thank you. Well, thank you. So, folks, there you have it. Uh, whatever your circumstances in life, you don't have to give up. The best of times of your life still can still be ahead of you. So you said you had uh, a solar, and this is your solar panel and ivy. Yes, this is ivy. Uh, this is a 100 watt Renogy solar panel, suitcase panel, that, oh, a lot of us have them. Yes. This thing is remarkable. It's, it's like magic. I mean, to someone who's non-electrical minded and stuff, it's like somehow the electric gets from here to my batteries and then lights go on and off. I can watch I can watch videos DVDs at night to me it's magic and that's all you need to know <laughs> yeah <laughs> and the great thing about these Renogy folding suitcases is they're so simple that's literally all you need to yes know. yeah you unfold oh. it and you plug it in yeah no it's gonna sound like I'm plugging for the company and I'm not however I I have had this fall over from the wind on rocks in Ehrenberg Last year we had a horrible sandstorm. This thing fell over and slid. I knew, I, I didn't even want to look at it. I picked it up, it wasn't broken, it was fine. But it's also fallen over two other times. I don't, it, to me that's, I don't know how they do it, but they do a good job. Yes, I, I highly recommend Renji uh -huh. equipment. I think it's very, very good. This is uh, Price for quality ratio is very, very good. Yeah, now my other option of course is to have more solar panels put up on my roof or something at this point in my life i'm just going to stick with this because my needs my needs aren't as great as a lot of people right so i'm so i'm quite happy good with it so how do you like my sand dunes oh, yeah. is, is this just a beautiful <laughs> it area is. yeah this i love the colorado place. river oh yeah. yeah and you know behind you there's these random palm trees it's like wow yeah right i have over here which is wonderful well you know like you said earlier you have a um you have a tiny tiny home but you've got yes. uh, a million acres backyard yes i do uh here's my nice this was a friend of mine wayne put this in for me it's an outdoor shower over back over here is my furnace and that's where you light light your five gallons of water well five gallons goes into it and it holds it it takes about 15 or 20 minutes and because it is propane you're not going to want to keep it on all the time so you light it and then come back 15 20 minutes later and you take your shower now what i don't see here is a shower enclosure <laughs> i think i'll get one built <laughs> Um, I usually don't worry a whole lot about it though because I camp out and out of the way. <laughs> I shouldn't say that. I camp out and out of the way places and if, you know, someone needs to look the other way if they don't want to see a 60 some year old woman. What can I say? <laughs> that's, that's the way I feel. Okay, good, good, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Here's my uh, bicycle rack. I have a nice mountain bike. It's used. Uh, so paid a surprising lot for a used bike as old as it is but I have found out here it's difficult to ride a regular bicycle your mountain bike has uh, springs and stuff in it you have dual suspension front yeah and rear. I do I've got dual suspension I found that without it that rear suspension 
Your butt gets pounded. Well, not only that, I've come very close to Rex on my other bicycle. And uh, Wayne kept tell asking me, say, try my bike, try my bike. I didn't really want to try it. So I found this on Craigslist two days after I tried his bicycle. Right. Um, there's a, if you can ride a bike and you like a bicycle, there's a lot of reasons to have one out yes, here. Yes, absolutely. Um, God forbid, you know, something could happen. Your, your battery goes out. You can't get someone back. Usually you can, you know, a lot of places you're able to just ride your bicycle and get help if you have to. Well, you were near a Flying J truck stop and a freeway. Well, yeah. You're probably a 10-minute ride, 15-minute yeah, ride? Yeah, at the most. Yeah. Yeah. And, it, it, you know, it could be a lifesaver as far as I'm concerned. Uh, they have a Wendy's. You could just go up there and get a Frosty. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Why not? Yeah, Burn I, the calories to and from. Frosty fix, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And uh, some of our group of, were about seven miles from downtown Blythe, the heart of shopping. I've, we have friend, people here who will ride their bike into and out of town to shop. Well, it makes a lot of sense. It and when does. I get to Quartzsite, I know I will be using it. Right. The bike to go in and out of there. That's even closer to yeah. downtown. Yeah. So this is your tow vehicle here. This is my tow vehicle. That you had before. Yes. So um, a bigger engine would be ideal, but it does the trick. It does the trick, yeah. Um, and, you know, going into towing is a totally different thing, but just because this tows 5,400 pounds doesn't mean I should be towing 5,400 pounds. Mm -hmm. Right. A lot of people misunderstand that. Yeah, and you can easily go online and get the uh, charts that'll tell you what your vehicle can tow and what you should be towing and the percentages. So I'm still about 2,000 pounds under. And you're careful. You don't tow it much. No, I'm, I'm careful, and when I do tow it, you know, I'm... Like I, let's see, I've gone over 7,000 feet, but not much more. I might be hard pressed to go up higher than that. It's just working hard. It's, it's working. Yeah. But at, uh, you know, going up to Flagstaff and I'm, I've been fine. It, it's not, it's not stressed it. Of course you have to come down too. So the trailer has trailer brakes. Oh my gosh. Yes. Yeah. The trailer has trailer brakes. It has a sway bar, um, sway control. I also will be getting, uh, I need new tires on it. There's a place down the road here in Ehrenberg that I'm going to order the tires from and this fellow will put it on, put them on. Good. I like to try to, like a lot of us, get stuff from little, you know, the little store shop, stores and shops. Mm -hmm. Yep. So. Okay, well thank you so much, Diane. Uh, we'll uh, leave, leave you alone and thank you again for sharing your life with us. Oh, you're quite welcome. Okay.